if you know your movie history, you know why this song is appropriate. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit the links in the description to support the channel. I'm on Instagram, bitch you, um, Twitter for a little while. Why is Hollywood so full of filthy degenerates? Why Ricky Gervais scared the Hollywood elites? Because they're losing control of the narrative, and people are waking up to how they're being manipulated. Social media allows alternative, diverse voices outside the echo chamber of mainstream media. With YouTube, any jerk with a cheap cell phone can give an opinion. The elites who control the media are terrified by this. And before you laugh at what seems like an absurd idea, go watch Carl's Mazos video where he whines and moans that the people like me have the audacity to present their opinions. Views and dollars are down for mainstream media across the board. It was only a few months ago that BuzzFeed and the rest had to fire so many people. Look at CNN's ratings over the past 20 years. Every minute we spend listening to Milk Toast Tim Pool is a minute we aren't listening to Rachel Maddow. There's only 24 hours in the day. Alt media has taken tremendous market share from mainstream entertainment. The only downside to this is that there's sort of an entertainment balkanization. We're all on different pages. But that is a good thing because it allows different perspectives on the same event. Before, you had CNN presenting only one perspective, but then the network entertainment also gave the exact same perspective, because the same people control the media. You saw them at the Golden Globes, the left-wing coastal elite. It doesn't matter if it was print, video, or radio. The media always presented the left-wing viewpoint. But now you can hop on YouTube, BitChute, DLive, and get a... Oh, I'm on DLive, too. I just got started on there. Because I think I can use Streamlab to stream, live stream to DLive. D, DLive. So I'm going to give that a shot, see how that works out. So you can get on these alternative platforms, and uh, you can get a right-of-center perspective, or even just a moderate perspective like Tim Pool. And the mainstream hate that. They're losing control and money. And worse, people are laughing at them and their hypocrisy. If you notice the humor in Hollywood, it's always in one direction. Um, who's always per portrayed as incompetent, bumbling, or evil by them? Which is funny because degenerates like Epstein and Weinstein were held up as the gold standard icons in Hollywood. How shall I say this? People who hurt women and children run Hollywood. These self-congratulatory millionaire perverts control the media and they hate you. So when they start losing control of the narrative and get called out by Ricky Gervais, they get very uncomfortable. They do what they're doing on Twitter right now. They deflect in ad hominem. In the open marketplace of ideas, they cannot compete, so they have to shut down free expression. That's why they believe in censorship. They believe in no platforming speakers because they know that when they have a dialogue, their ideas are laughed at. Hey, let's try socialism! But just don't look at Venezuela. Well, let's look at white male shooters. But don't mention Chicago, St. Louis, South Central. Oh, let's try communism. What do we have to lose? 200 million dead? Uh, what about Islam? What do we have to lose there? Um, 700 million dead? Open borders is so great. Cool, then let's do it for Israel, Japan, the Middle East, Africa... Sorry, Bianca, we need to take your channel down for that. Go back to talking about comic books. But just don't look too closely at who writes and edits those comics. Why? What, what will I find? Account deleted. What makes it sweeter is that Ricky Gervais is left-wing, and he has F.U. money. Hollywood canceled him, but he can go back to doing stand-up. They wanted him to get up there and do Trump jokes, and he mentioned Epstein, Weinstein, and everyone got very nervous. Because Epstein makes you think of Hillary Clinton, the DNC, the Democrats, the left wing in general, and who controls the narrative? The left wing controls the narrative. Why? What did you think I was going to say? Let's take a look at the Mary Sue. It's made up of four whining... Kvetching yentas on their period, and one token African girl who actually is sort of cute. She covers, I don't know, like sex topics and that kind of thing. Oh, what's this? What's in the way? Is this 
a soldier riding a dinosaur? Mike Miller is obviously correct, and and all the geologists, geophysicists, chemists, physicists, mathematicians, computer modelers, anthropologists, they're all wrong. Uh, the Earth was created 4,004 years ago at 9 a.m., probably on a Monday. Oh, this is by Rachel Leishman, one of the Kvechin Yentas I mentioned, and she's, gosh, she's such a winner. Ricky Gervais hosted the Golden Globes and did what he does best, insulted an entire room and acted like he absolutely hated being there. It's become his bit, if you will, and as tired of it as we all are, I'm not tired of it. There's another thing about Gervais that we all know, and that's that he doesn't like Donald Trump. <laughs> okay, was that like a slam dunk for you? So now that the Golden Globes have come and gone, and a lot of Trump supporters are rallying behind him, I truly cannot stop laughing. Leishman, I don't think you're laughing. It all came from his opening monologue, where he insulted a bunch of actors. You mean he spoke truth to power about what degenerates these people all are? That's insulting them? Telling the truth is insulting? Yeah, that's what we meant. Uh, he likes to roast people. That's Yeah, that was what he was supposed to do. Oh, imagine, he's not your favorite comedian. Shocking. Shot. And he's an atheist who hates Donald Trump. Why would you mention he's an atheist who hates Donald Trump? You're a Jewish girl who hates Donald Trump. Hey, I used to hate Donald Trump too. And then he started, uh, you know, doing good things for the economy. And I realized I was wrong. I can admit I was wrong about Trump. Uh, he's rallying behind him because we told everyone not to get political. The Golden Globes. Very people who usually don't want political correctness get in the way of saying what they think. Hilarious. I don't think you people are laughing. We're laughing, though. The consensus on Twitter is that they like that he told Hollywood types to shut up. As if that doesn't happen all the time? For years, oh, Tim Robbins and Susan Sarandon. Oh, which one's the bigger pussy? I, I don't know. Uh, it's hilarious on Twitter. I don't think you find this hilarious. Because they're all politely ignoring his own politics and praising this. Okay, so he's, he's on the left. Which means, does that make your argument better or worse? He's on the left, and he still thinks you guys are all a bunch of degenerates. Uh, yeah, Ricky Ver Gervais was gen trendy. See, these are good people to, to follow. 1776 CC, Carolina conservative. Gun-grabbing celebs attending an event with armed security who buy their kids' college admissions and run cover for the likes of Harvey Weinstein don't need to be pontificating about jack garbage to anyone. Hashtag Golden Globes. There's another hashtag going around. I think it's a Hollywood. Hi oh, Hollywood hypocrites. Megan Dawkins, my ass. Whoever is responsible for having him host yesterday is probably fired today. Hashtag Hollywood hypocrites. If you enter that hashtag in Twitter, whoa, they are po'd. Washington Post, a bunch of salty soy boys. Ricky Gervais is sharp as bar. Poked Hollywood's piety. Nobody cared. Five likes. Get going, in Washington Post. You are fake news. Uh, okay, you just you're just showing tweets that show how unfunny the left is. You guys have no sense of humor. You can't meme, and your butt hurt. Leishman's back hole has been taken. Actually, most of these Hollywood degenerates back holes have been taken. Much like Epstein and Weinstein took back holes. Like, am I a fan of Ricky Gervais? Where did you learn to write? Uh, the Office. I never saw it. This situation is laughable because why do they all openly hate people with different opinions? You hate people with different opinions. You people try to deplatform people who have opinions different from you. You call them monsters and you call them socialists or, you know, the end word from Germany in the 40s. Okay. Oh, please don't say y'all. Okay, y'all still support Trump. Oh, Leishman, you are not a Southerner. You're not folksy and cute. Don't say y'all. It's just it's stupid. Solid go home is really tar, Steve. Okay, the, um, oh, shoot, I want to get to the comments because they are freaking gold. Leishman, who, um, she she just changed this thing like yesterday because I, I think I read her thing. I think it was from BitChute. I just did a video yesterday, but I couldn't put it on YouTube where she, um, uh, she changed uh, what she said before, so I can't, I probably can't repeat it. Um, okay, here's the thing. 
only the left demands fealty in this manner. You assume Trump supporters do. As long as he has a valid point, he's okay in their book, unlike the regressive, all-authoritarian left. This is what I mentioned yesterday, on the, I think it was on the pitch shoot video, where the left is in lockstep together because they're terrified of being canceled. Where the right um, has no problem fighting amongst themselves. Uh, we just, it's just, it's how good ideas rise to the top, where the left will say things like, what's our consensus on this? Because if you're on the left and you take a, they're very, very careful about giving opinions because if the crowd is against them, all of a sudden they'll be canceled, which means people will look up their Twitter history and find out, oh, they made an uncouth joke a couple years ago. And all of a sudden they're done. And the left does not believe in forgiveness, so that so you should never ever apologize to the left. Just tell them to go after themselves. Anyway, check out the Mary Sue. Uh, she's the left wing in general. Just is lost their freaking minds. And you can check out some of the stuff on Twitter. Like, comment, subscribe, guys, and I will see you all next episode.